We're going to review uh, what we need to do for um, beginner computer. The last time we met we uh, put a poem trees on the computer and um, we formatted it with a drop cap and a picture. So click in on Word where it bounces, it opens, and very often it opens just like this. But this is not the way we're going to work. So let's understand what opened and how we can make it the way we want to work. This is a formatting palette. It seems to open by itself. We don't need it. If you move the cursor to the dots, the red and green dot open, click the red dot, it goes back into the palette. We don't need it. Now, we need this to be much larger. On the bottom are three little lines. These are drag lines. If I click my mouse on the drag lines and pull it across, now I let go of my mouse, I have the document, uh, the Word program taking up most of the screen. This time it opened up in um, page width. Zoom is the control that controls how it opens up. Sometimes it may open up and look like this. That's because it's 125% of what they consider full. Well, I, I, I want it to be page width, so I click page width. I could also change it to whole page. This is the whole page. I could also see two pages. There are no two pages. We only have one page of document with nothing on it. So I can't see it with two pages, but I can see it with page width. What you should have is you should have trees on your flash drive, and you should be able to put that on the screen so it looks just like this. I had it on the clipboard. I clicked to paste. It pasted the document on the page. The last thing we did was highlight a letter such as the I, click on format and drop cap. If I clicked OK now, I would have no drop cap because none is selected. I have to pick a drop cap. I will take the uh, text format and the number of lines offered and say OK. This is a drop cap. I click the screen where my cursor is to take the formatting away from the drop cap. And that's the way it looks. We also put a picture on the page. The picture is going to go wherever the cursor is. So if I, my cursor was un, next to the word where, a tree that may in summer wear. And now I go to insert, picture, clip art. Whatever clip art I select, insert, you see it goes right where the word was here. Right by where? See the cursor flashing? Look, there it is. This is not what I want to do. I'm going to undo this. If I put my cursor by tree and I hit the enter button or return button, the cursor is now under my poem. And if I say insert a picture clip art and take the same clip art, it now will be underneath my document. And if I go to page, whole page, I can see what everything looks like. All right, this is not the way we're going to format our page. We're going to do a lot more. One thing we want to do is have control over that uh, picture, wherever it may go. So we're going to get rid of the picture. I highlighted it, and I hit the delete. The picture's gone. And the way to control it is I'm going to insert a text box. Now that creates a little crosshairs, and when I click and hold my mouse button, I could make this box as large as I want. Now you'll see that there's a cursor clicking right inside the box. So if I were to go to Insert Picture Clip Art, and I pick the clip art now, it's going to go inside that text box. I now have control over this picture. And by, see the four arrows? When you move the cursor to the edge of the text box, 
you can click and hold it and drag it anywhere you want. Notice that the text wraps around my picture. Now I can make this smaller. You have to do two steps. One is click on the picture, make the picture smaller. That will make the picture smaller, and I'm going to make it smaller still. But you see what's left is your text box. You're going to have to click on the text box and make the text box. You see it goes two ways, this arrow, both ways. Click and hold, and I make the text box the size of my picture. Now, when I get the four-way arrow and I move my picture up, I can hold it right next to my text, and I have control over where the picture goes. So that's using a text box. We're going to use a text box again. I'm going to delete the picture, and I'm going to delete the text box. I'm going to remove the, oops, I'm going to remove the formatting for drop cap, so there is no drop cap. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole text. I'm going to left click, I'm sorry, right click, and I'm going to copy this text so that it's in my clipboard. I can put it anywhere I want. What I want to do is I want to look at these document elements. We're going to pick out something pretty. This looks nice. And what do I have? I have a page that's been formatted. Now, as I bring my cursor over where it says document tile, uh, title, you can see that there's a box around it. Guess what it is? It's a text box. If I hit delete, all that text box goes away. I don't need that. I'm going to add my own. I'm going to insert, oops, let me click on the page. I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to put the box right here. And now I'm going to right click and click paste. And the text that I had before now goes in that text box. Now it's very small. I'm going to highlight the text so it's all highlighted. And you can see that. Let's see. You see that I highlighted the text. And I'm now going to change the format of the text. I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to say bold. I'm going to say italic. And now I can place this text anywhere on the page. I'm going to ask for a whole page. And now when I click on the text box, the text box that holds my text, I can move it anywhere I want, and I move it into the middle of the page. Now I'd like to put a title on top, so I'm going to click on Word Art. Word Art is going to let me put a fancy title on the top. So I'm going to pick something fancy, and I think that this is pretty enough. Click on this. It says your text here. I'm going to move it up so it's over here. Again, just by dragging it with my mouse. I'm going to double click where it says your text here. It opens up a, a window. Trees. I'm going to type that in and say OK. And now this text box says trees. It's word art. I could actually be pulling a corner, make it larger. And I did. And now the poem is very dressed up. It's on a nice page has a beautiful title, uh, and you can present this as a document. If I printed it, uh, I will bring this to class and we will see what it looks like. We're going to do this together. If I click on Word Art, the Word Art will go away. You see underneath is my original document. I don't really need that anymore. I could get rid of it. And here's the new document we made with trees where it's in the middle, has a nice background, and a nice uh, title. All right, we're going to do this ourselves. Let's get ready and do it.